Yo, what's up, people? I don't know what's been going on with the stream, but it looks like right now there are no commentators, so I'll do that. Um, looks like we have JFlex versus Cody. Um, Cody being the Falco. See, somebody set this up. They, they set up the stream and the overlay and all that, but nobody's here to commentate. I wonder what happened. I, I straight up, right before the set, I asked if the guy was Cody. Like, are you Cody? And then, and now I see that he's actually wearing the Cody tag. That was a good tag chase with the F smash. And good read on the roll. And the ledge hop. I wonder if JFlex ever just hops to ledge dash. Maybe that's how he should go back onto the stage. Oh, that, that was a good read, but he just failed to execute. You know, spacing was a little off, slash timing. Nice, that, that's what you gotta do. You have to, like, when the uh, um, spaces like to be into the stage, you have to punish, like, the part where they bounce off the stage. And sometimes they, they kind of angle it just, like, barely low, so they, they kind of skid across the stage. Too. Or, like, they don't really ever land until it's over. Alright, Cody uh, takes his first lock off of J-Flex. Um, J-Flex goes for, for a read there. There's no way that he missed the dash up there. What? Who has to go play? Okay. Do I have to play? What? <coughs> oh, the amateur practice. Damn. Get back. Alright, yeah. Get through. Yeah, I should have gone, gone to the Chinese place at least to get some rice or something. There's a lot of Chinese food here because uh, around this area because we're in Chinatown. Anyway, dash attack up tilt, slap. But he was unable to edge guard. That, that needle did look pro promising, but it didn't do much. It did limit Falco's recovery option, so he could have taken advantage of that. Alright, good back air. It's very good spacing. And once again, we have uh, even stocks. Looks like JFlex is retreating to the platforms and charging a needle or two while um, Cody is finding lasers at the bottom. Good job, reset. Are we going for reaction? And uh, he kind of. Maybe his eyes deceived him because he definitely did not miss the attack. Wow, did, did he actually read that? Because like uh, ledge roll is the option is, is the option to go for when uh, uh, Sheik's up you all the way in. Right, good nair. Get out of shield. Uh, he, uh, Cody was reaching a little bit there with back airs. He really wanted to end the stock. He wants to be comfortable. Uh, he wants to have a comfortable so uh, stock lead. Doesn't want to take any more percent. Uh, he, he messes up the flow chart. Maybe he misreads it. Because the flow chart definitely says to not get up that early. But regardless, he takes a good stock by baiting a grab out of, out of J-Flex. So nice today. Uh, I was expecting that to combo too. I think uh, Sam, uh, Sam, I think um, Sheik reeled a little bit too far back with a flinch. We have some hype going on in the background. I think that was G Money versus Fire. Alright, anyone's game. J Flex is sitting at 61%. Cody with a fresh stock. Never mind. Got touched. Wow, I, I actually do not expect him to opt for that, to up be all the way in. Back on stage, Cody's taking center. Um, it's J Flex's needles versus Cody's lasers. I think we know how this goes. We know who wins that matchup. Yeah. It's good walling him out, crushing J-Flex. And that's how he's going to take the first game. Uh, 
All right, but game two, we're back on Battlefield. Um, in case you guys were not aware, this is in fact the city. The city meaning New York City. And this is where we play all of our games. In fact, uh, it's the only legal stage. All right, they're, they're both trading airs out of shield, like on the, each other's shields. My right, back throw again. Um, yeah, you, you always have to cover the le the double jump air dodge option first. Like that should be the primary option to cover because that is Chaco's best recovery option. Again, like Sheik at least. All right, that that was bad there. I don't know what was bad about it. I don't know if he missed an L cancel. I don't know how he got grabbed. It's probably too high. Yeah, that was a good wave land back. That's what you gotta do. I feel like, uh, you know, people people fall for that a lot. Wave land back. Power shield. Good. Zero. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm up. I have to play. So peace stream, I guess we're going to have to just, you know, listen to the sound effects and background music. Signing off.
Hi stream. Riley, did you say this is game three? Yeah, this is game three. Do you know how to update the overlay? Uh, I have no clue. Me neither. <laughs> well, stream this is game three. It's game three, boys. Uh, have any history on these players? I know about JSX because he's my training partner. And even though I've been kind of out of the scene lately, I know that he's been getting super good. He's been like placing in type, top five at Nebulous like all the time. Oh yeah, Jay. And I mean, in the past couple months, Jay's beaten DJ G. Like, he's beaten pretty much everyone. Yeah, he's just missing like hacks in the moon. Hacks in the moon. Other than that, he's got all the holes in his card punch. Yeah, at least once. Uh, except G Money, I think is the. No, dude, he's beaten Jay. Oh yeah, that was a while ago, but he did. He's done it. Yeah. Okay, we got planking. Cody's yeah. nice and patient. And so then, what always amazes me about Cody is how he can play so many characters at a high level. Yeah, it's actually ridiculous. He doesn't, like, maybe, like, the stream does not know of, like, what he can do, but he really has, like, I think the top seven characters and, like, no ice climbers, like, down. Like, yeah. he's really good with everybody. I remember at EVO, like, Vino wanted to train Mark Dittos for KDJ, and Cody just Mark Dittoed him for a while, and then someone else wanted, like, Peach practice, he just went Peach, and, like, he was beating all those people. Yeah. Like, like yeah. Yeah, I played a speech too, and it's not like a lot of people have like pocket peaches, and it's like kind of lame. Like for example, like I don't know if you remember early on, Swedish Delight's peach was kind of scrubby. Now yeah. it's good. Yeah, I understand, but like back then it was like very fair down smash heavy and just throw turnips. Yeah. But his is like technical too. I'm like, dude, how could you with all these characters? Cody's power shield game with Peach is ridiculous. It shows you how broken that character shield alignment is. Exactly. Um, I know he told me just like a couple minutes ago that he's going all mostly Falco and Marth now. Yeah. He doesn't want to play Fox. I saw him play Marth earlier in Bragg and I was like, damn Cody. <laughs> Why you got so many characters, man? I only got one. <laughs> I have one and a power, half. Power shield needles. It's looking hard for flex. Yeah. He's uh, having a really hard time getting in. Cody's not giving him opportunities. Playing nice and patient. Walling him out with lasers. JSX is actually doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing at this percent. He's at 161, yeah. and you can't really come in with anything when no. he's at 22. Yeah, you gotta like, just throw needles until he's past crouch cancel range. Yeah, exactly. Like, maybe if he was at 100, he could risk it, but this is like literally one touch or dead. Yeah. So he has to keep building up needle percent like yeah. that. Because once he gets to, like, let's say 30 foot, now fair. fair or F tilt is gonna knock over. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing you know what happens when we knock way, over actually. Spacey. See, wow. here we go. We get those knockdowns. Oh my god. Dude, yeah. that was sick. All right. Oh, oh great okay. edge cancel from Cody. Oh, Moonwalk to grab ledge. <laughs> All right. No arms attack. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. This is also a really hard percent for Sheik. <laughs> Sheik's got a lot of hard percents, man. Yeah, but like her good percents are ridiculous. Like, I want to say those percents are like 40 and 70, that like, everything works out really, really well. Yeah. Everything just is perfect. Mm. And like 120 for kills, like that's good. But once it gets to like 130 now. Oh wow, and now <laughs> Cody's doing the same exact thing that uh, JSX did. Except he's building it up with lasers, yeah. which you don't see a lot from Falcos. But like Cody actually isn't just another brainless spacey. Like he yeah, plays patient, he really understands. Like this dude beats soft, like he does not yeah. take unnecessary risks. He like, yeah. he's a high- Oh my, that read! Yeah, that was great. Oh, like, but he didn't Animal die. is a much more pressure heavy spacey. Yeah. Cody just kind of outsmarts them. Yeah, exactly. They're like two polar opposite players, and it's super and cool. And they're like BFFs. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes this is what you need. All right. Can that be in All right, let's see what we can do. Day one combos. 92% <laughs> is not that bad of a lead. I mean, like, a fall. Like, he can still do this. J Flex is really proficient at power shield, though. Definitely. I mean, everyone is at this point. Yeah. 20XX. Oh, no, the down smash was a little... All right, this should be a kill. Nice. Doesn't get the ledge. 
Alright, Cody's gonna play nice and patient. He does not want to get grabbed right near here. He knows what it means. Not <laughs> And there we go, Cody takes it. Well, guys, I'm gonna play Vans. See you later. I'll be back on the commentary, actually.